Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel on a brand new video on War Wings. Really excited to be playing about with this plane here, which is the P-51D Unicorn. Great little plane. Now, in comparison with a lot of the other kind of tier 8s that I've got my hands on, like the Mi-262 V7, yes, speed and firepower are two things that really tick about that particular one. And when it comes to the Flying Sword at tier 8, it's kind of like Mr. Average as a premium comparison. But when we go back to the p 5-1-D Unicorn, the things that really stand out for me is, yes, there's a lower speed, but the maneuverability is increased. The next thing is firepower is, yes, okay, it's not as high, but still, it's still relative and good enough to kind of put in a lot of pain to the enemy. And the main thing being survivability. If you go across, the survivability is a lot more than a lot of the other Tier 8 premiums on the market. So, I'm very excited to be playing about with this particular plane. As I said, the main things that really tick for me with regards to maneuverability and speed were self-evident when I was doing a command ship battle. And the great thing about it is, like, I'm very focused. I know what I'm doing. I do go off on my own with regards to, like, doing my own stuff, like taking out a few enemies, mainly, like, putting a lot of pain into the command ship. For some reason, like, a lot of players seem to be messing around with trying to get down enemy planes. Uh, I think it is good to have people at the back focusing on base defense, but at the same time, when we're doing base attack, at the command ship it always seems to be that i'm able to win if i'm at the command ship and hopefully then other people are backed off to then go and sort out the base and protect it from uh, from enemy pilots but i do digress because when it came to then doing that i found that maneuverability was spot on i was able to get myself out of trouble and at the same time the speed was still relative enough to then catch up with enemies number one and number two being able to get out of my way with regards to danger so I say I was coming close to a ship and I was able to then duck out right at the last minute and still not having to get that kind of push from me saying oh pull up uh, pull up pull up pull up, pull up and you like forget to pull up and you end, end up like nose diving into the ground or even the water so it was kind of cool to have a plane that maneuvered so darn well but the still, still at the same time had good firepower and at the same time had good speed and good ish ground attack one of the biggest criticisms i've seen nowadays is with regards to like comparisons of jets against uh, the kind of like biplanes and, and other type planes that may be a bit more historically accurate or kind of close in general and yeah i do see where people are coming from but they kind of like they did this pretty solidly especially with regards to increasing survivability so you can take a good amount of punishment especially going against planes like the me or any other tier 8 premium or any of the tier 8s in general the final thing to really say is like i really enjoy the design of the plane and found that uh, there's a lot of things going for it and it was a case it's just like speed maneuverability and survivability as well as firepower being good that kind of ticked a few boxes with me Mainly speed and maneuverability is kind of very reminiscent of when I first started playing the game and also like playing like Spitfires because that seems very orientated, orientated with them. And if you are interested in picking up War Wings as a game or kind of any kind of guides with regards to the game, I've put links in the description to, uh, to my guides. And the final thing is to say is thank you very much for watching this video on War Wings. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and subscribe for more War Wings action. I've been Rich the Man and as always, I shall catch you on the flip side. Bye bye for now.